You know what? Uh, will you be comfortable staying at the pension? Wouldn't it be better if we could find a small house, even with just one bedroom? How could I afford a house? I'd have to buy furniture and all that stuff. Let's just pray Miss Kevser has a vacancy for me, Sybil. Besides, I don't want to be far away from my mom and Iram. Hmm. Whatever you think. If Mr. Sedeton comes early, you can wait here. Offer him coffee or tea. I'll be right back, all right? <clears throat> Kubra? I'm talking to you. No, she's not hearing me at all. Where is your mind right now? Look who is standing in front of you right now. There's something going on with you these days. Don't make me break your healthy leg, okay? What did I do this time, Dad? As you can see, there's everything in the room that you could need. The bathroom is right there, and there's everything over there in the kitchen as well. Generally, the other girls tend to cook their own dinners for themselves. How nice. Okay. It's fine with me. Uh, Miss Kevser, how much is it for a month again? 200 lira. And I would need it in cash, of course. Uh, okay, I'll go and get my stuff to bring over then, okay? Mm. Congratulations, and have a nice day. Mm -hmm. Thank you. <laughs> so what's up? Are you moving into Yigit's house? Yeah, we'll be living together from now on. This is a very small district. So to avoid gossip, Yigit said that we could have a religious marriage until we can do the bigger wedding. And I said, why not? We'll invite the Imam tonight and start the preparations. May God bless us. Shh, enough. Kubra, you really are behaving shamefully right now. Daria had to stay there for personal reasons. But we're on our way to the pension now. But why a pension? My stepfather forced himself on me and I bashed his head in. And there's nothing going on between Yigit and me. I'm so sorry, Derry. Are you okay? Derry, he didn't do anything bad to you, did enough, he? Kubra, enough. I really don't need the melodrama. I have enough problems already. Come on, I'll talk to you later. We're in the middle of the neighborhood right now. Ugh, just forget about her. Shh. Calm down. What the hell is her problem? What? Tell me. Dude, you had a relationship with Daria? <laughs> In addition to Pretty Cooper, huh? Look, it wasn't really anything. We had a small thing for a while. These girls are always here in the neighborhood. Well, is there anyone else in the neighborhood that I don't know about? No. Don't you worry, you would have already figured it out. Now, if you're done questioning me, I'll give you an apple. No, I'll pass. Fine, then. Hey, are you sure you're making money from this purchase and sale thing? Uh, of course I am, dude. We have food on the table, don't we? That's what I'm wondering about. You haven't sold a single car since the opening. The whole showcase has remained the same. Jeez, man. We sell cars, not bread. That way we can sell a large purchase in one day. Well, then how did you buy all this stuff? How'd you buy a car for yourself? That's what I'm asking about. I don't know if you're my brother or an inspector. What is this questioning about? Listen, Yigit. Look, we really don't need that much money, all right? We only need each other to make it here. All we need to do is be a family. I don't want you getting in any more trouble like you did before. That's all. Look at me, Mr. Honest Police. We aren't on our grandfather's farm anymore. Take a look around, if you would. Look, we don't have our father. There's nobody else that can look after us. That's why we have to stand strong together. We're in Istanbul, and we'll obey the laws of the jungle or get eaten. The jungle? What are you doing, huh? What aren't you telling me? I'm not doing anything that you don't know of, Amir. All I'm saying is that we can't be as innocent as we used to be when we lived on that farm, understand? Okay, then. Then I should also remind you of something, that you have an ongoing lawsuit, huh. and that your final hearing's coming up. Should you do anything illegal, you'll get locked up again. So watch out, brother. Are you a lawyer or are you a summoner, huh? I don't really understand it, because you keep on talking about a hearing. Why do I even bother with you, man? Enjoy your apple there, buddy. Thanks.